Okay, time to get out. All right, well, even though I said I would fire this pit up the night before, I totally spaced and forgot. So uh, I cut up a pallet, and I got up a little early, and I'm going to get these pieces of wood going nice and hot, and same thing, spread it out to the side, get the, get the pit nice and hot. Got those pallet pieces in there burning pretty good. So while that's going, mixed up water in my dirt, my clay here. Just gonna do that. Well, I'm using my left hand, this is a little challenging, but you get the idea I'm gonna do that over all the joints. Okay, time's come to put the pig on. I raked what coals were in the pit. I raked them to one corner and the other, and I shoveled out the, the logs that were still smoldering. So I've got some coals. I'm gonna get a couple more briquettes of charcoal on there, get them going. Okay, I just brought it out from under the ice. We got get, get. an apple from our apple tree for the meal. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Non-galvanized rebar. Yes. Very important. You don't need any vaporized zinc in your diet. This is that one. Ah, well. <laughs> what do you got? Juice on you? Yeah, every single time <laughs> that we do this, I get juice. That'll happen. I'm too short for this table. I think it's because it's still has eyelids. Eyelids? I thought yeah. they cut the eyelids off. I think they got, oh. got one on this side. Huh. They did a, didn't do a, a very good job cleaning it up. Well, tell us does a good job. But they wanted 420. Oh, they wanted 425 a pound. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. 
girls because it's my beliefs. Right. I have to come down. Looks like it. Looks good. Okay. There we go. Now put the bricks on. Yep. <laughs> of course, I couldn't have bought two equal sized pieces of sheet metal. That would have been too easy. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to be using two different thermometers today. Uh, the first thermometer is, is pretty self-explanatory. It's a nice, um, just a uh, regular old meat thermometer. It tells you the temperature and also it has a little icon for uh, different, different meats. <clears throat> now, let's see, this one for for pork, it looks like that lines up more with 165 or 170, but I'm going to be shooting for 155 or 160 uh, due to carryover, since even when I pull the pig off, it's still going to be cooking a little bit because it, the pig itself is hot. So I'll be sticking this into the ham or into the shoulder or both after in a number of hours of cooking to uh, determine how far along it is. I imagine pretty much everybody would use that. Now the other one that not everyone might use, this is, uh, I don't know, this might be a meat thermometer as well. Well, it goes up higher, candy thermometer maybe. But I'm going to use this to monitor the pit temperature. See this has a nice little movable pointer, so I'm going to move this right around 180, which is the temperature I like to keep the, uh, the pit at, or attempt to keep the pit at anyway. So I have trouble keeping it that, that low. So, this has been covered for a couple minutes, so let's see, i put it right in the middle here. Well, the temperature wasn't going much above 150, so I decided to take these off to get a little bit more draft to help things get going. I figured I might as well put the first round of, of uh, marinating on. So this is the leftover cider and orange juice and spice marinade. I've got plenty of it, so might as well start using it. So if you can see, we're finally up to temperature we're at uh, about 210 or so. 205. I had a hard time getting it up to temperature, but I think I had my charcoal in too much of a pile, so uh, I flattened it out some, so that allowed air to get to it a little better, so you see that's going real nice and hot. Actually, it's about time to throw a couple more on, maybe, just to keep the fire going. Well, everything's going good. The uh, temperature, you know, it fluctuates a little bit. It was up to 250 almost. I basted it again. That dropped the temperature down. Let some of the heat out. Put some more bricks on the on the air supply to to uh, slow down the fire a little bit. Now you'll see. Maybe it is past noon time. So it's beer time. 1215. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're drinking too. Oh, what are you talking about? Okay, now it's time to flip the pig. This side over that way? Yep. Good. Line it there. Hmm? 
Looking for the basement stuff. See how juicy is all the juice that ran out there. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I'm trying not to pierce the skin. We're up to 125. Maybe if I let it set 130 in the thickest part. How's the bacon? Uh, We're making a fire here. We're gonna crisp the skin up once this gets going. And uh, should we be done. That was a good cut. Not anymore. <laughs> There's more where it came from. You want it? <laughs> Go. Alright. Let's eat. It's real hot. A little bit. So we'll sit down there for just a couple minutes. 519 right now. Oh, Brent's will text me. Oh, look at all that fat coming out. Just fuel on the fire. You want that? You want all that out of there? What's that? You want all that out of there? No, the fat, no. That, I try not to pierce the skin, but some of it just comes out, you know? Like where the wire is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take it off. There ain't no way. How are you doing, Mr. Director? So let that cool off a little bit. And uh, serve, them, serve them up. Okay, cutting the pig up. Oh, I, I don't see, I got the light on. You're lucky you weren't with me earlier today. Why is that? If you come back from shelter. I would have been collecting iron. These don't look familiar. I don't know where those animals are. I don't see them. Scare them away from what I'm on. But Bill took a little about himself to make that turn again. And then I looked at your map and it said, nothing about turning, so I just went straight. We don't have many roads that make circles like that one does. What, the road I'm on? Yeah. So if I had kept going that bit. way, I would have finally gotten back here. Do you think that maybe you're at the right <laughs> you know, there's a baby shower down the street. Is that where you're supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, who are you, by the way? <laughs> Connor, he's making me very uncomfortable. Could you usher him out? One night, I go to a stag party. Oh, boy. I know people there. <laughs> I so. so I think I'm at the right stag party. Did you know the help, too? 
after a while, <laughs> the people that I know should be there aren't coming in. I grabbed the phone, I called, no, it's tomorrow night. Uh, oh. <laughs> I stayed, I drank the beer and ate the food. Obviously, and then I got a heck from my wife. Going two nights in a row to the same stank party? <laughs> and then we Make got a little beans. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> It's like a potato chip, but even better. No skin off my back. It's like it's like real bacon. Yeah. Well, the bacon's right here, actually. The counter's hogging the bacon. Right. Hog. Oh yeah, very funny hogging it. So I don't get it. So funny. I'm a mean, mean, mean badminton player. Oh, you're the one who cracked my wife's rib last week. I did not crack her rib. Lauren, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this is great. I just figured out you can't put your finger into a G-Way <laughs> while it's spinning. You hit on this side. Too much of that half and half there with a half bunch of half flowers or uh, lemonade. It's a G-Way. My much can't tell those drinks. Oh, I'm crazy enough. Yeah, you hear that? In the, uh, the key way there. Yeah. Uh, Downtown Connors, you did a good job. Yep. You see that lazy boy Tim Mario put out in front of his house? I saw the picture of him sleeping. He's got to cover that. That's going to take months to get out. And Mario don't care. He has a deal with you. He has a tire on his Oh, yeah, I need to tire bad. Well, it's got Pillsbury sitting on it. Yeah, it's a little flat. Hey, just in time. Just in time to help you lift and ride. Uh, yeah. Baby, baby. Hey, more music came. Yep, there you go. The second shift. Hi, Connor. The second shift. Hey. Hey, made it. Good to hear you. Too bad. You missed out on Sweet Caroline, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. everybody like that, huh? Just knocked that one off. Just knocked that one off. This is the, more, the most important part for the uh, morning after the pig roast. Some nice fresh brewed coffee after dragging yourself out of bed. And some leftover blueberry pie for breakfast. Well, it was another good successful pig roast, third annual. Had a great time, everybody else had a great time. They took plenty of leftovers. Our fridge is probably packed. Let's see, oh yeah, look at all those containers. Still got lots of barbecue sauce left too. So, that'll be my lunch for this week. Not too much damage out there. Still gotta clean up the pig, pig table and everything. I think the raccoons were having a ball with it last night. So, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, come back for more.